Welcome to Fine Woodworking News for October 27th, 2023. I'm Ben Strano, and I have a habit of sweeping up all of the stuff on my floor in my shop and never picking up the big piles of swept up stuff. We have a lot to get to today. I know it's been a while since we've done a news because last time, two weeks ago, there was not a lot to get to, and I'm going to blame Prime Day or whatever because apparently that's a new holiday these days. Prime Day. And I'm willing to bet that the tool news kind of starts to taper off at some point because holidays are coming in and people are just going to be trying to sell stuff instead of make stuff. So yeah, we'll see how the rest of the year goes, but I'm not going to make these videos unless they're worth making. So hopefully every time I make one, it'll be worth watching. We'll see. We have a new thing from Trend. Trend is now selling loose tenon stock. They probably cannot call it dominoes. All of your favorite domino sizes, except they have a 30 millimeter. That is great for 18 millimeter UK lumber. I guess so. So if you are in the market for more loose tenon stock in domino-ish sizes, check out Trend. Also, Jessam up in Canada is making a really cool tool setting gauge. This looks like a really beefy stainless steel kind of stainless stool. This looks like a really cool stainless steel kind of tool setting height gauge kind of thing. It comes in large imperial, small imperial, large metric, small metric. So they've got four different sizes. The larges look like $60 and the smalls go for $40. So if you're into tool setting gauges, check that out from Trend. Hartwood has emailed me and said that there is a, now an AccuBur AB2 burnisher. If you are like me and like a little helping hand with your burnishing of card scrapers, the AccuBur has been a godsend. It's a quarter inch rod and it is generally used for things like cabinet scrapers and you know mounted scrapers like plain scraper planes things like that uh stanley 80 12 112 so not really for your handheld scraper anymore that's still the smaller one woodpeckers has their dead nuts square it's like a milled up 90 degree precise milled square and the ends are 45s so it goes for 69 dollars and 99 cents and they also have a six inch version of their very popular three and a half inch delve square. Delve square is kind of cool. It's a, you know, it looks like a speed square that you use, you know, in carpentry, but it has a little bit, a little bit of other niceties. Like one end is half of an inch from the thing and the other end's a quarter of an inch from the thing and all sorts of like Swiss army squares this is cool i was really glad to see I, we got an email from the woodcraft promotion department and now there is a woodcraft in the baltimore area in timonium and yeah if you are in that area this is probably a big stinking deal i love to see more woodcrafts open up and woodworking supply companies of all stripes it's just great to see also, wood river has a router dado jig and the scale of this was like really confusing to me at first when I first looked at it and then you realize oh it's really big it's huge I thought it was small in this photo here and then boom there it is so it is just a dado jig that is dang back ordered already okay Woodcraft also has a sharp all diamond lapping plate a 10 by 4 inch lapping plate for wet stones for $90 which is not that bad for a lapping plate and featuring a photo that is this dude is equal parts awesome looking and scary looking in this thing. The Manila SRO Clean Air HEPA with 3A CA3 PAPR integrated mask respirator thing. These things are awesome. If you do a lot of sanding, a lot of dusty work, and you're in there all the time and you don't want to wear a respirator on your face, one of these like all in one things is absolutely the way to go and all of us need to be keeping ourselves safe and wearing proper ppe and dust collection and inhalation blah 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 so cool nice to see more options out there harbor freight i think there's more to this one i think there's more to this one harbor freight has their bauer wood lathe chuck 
for $99, which is a great price for a four jaw chuck. But here's the weird thing. This is a more premium chuck, right? Well, wood lathe, red. Do a search for lathe. Their metal lathe is red. This wood lathe is green. Do I think that Harbor Freight's gonna come out with a new lathe soon? I do. I do, I do, I do. I do. So let's talk about new issue of Fine Woodworking Magazine, the annual tools and shops issue, a fan favorite. Let's just thumb through it real quick. Editor's letter from Mike Pekovich, of course, and then workshop tips, new tools, Chris Schwarz on his Roman workbench, and then I dig this. This is Tim Manny's Brute of a Bench on a Budget. I love this, and this is my favorite part of it. Look at that. You want to make a workbench heavier? Stick a couple of bags of sand in the bottom. Really, really smart. Garrett Hack on his favorite, most trusted hand planes. Setting up big machines. This is the fine woodworking shop that we all know and love. And this beautiful, handsome, beautiful, hand, whatever, tool chest with heavy duty base. This is a tool chest that you will pass down through generations. And then Andrew Finnegan did a killer midi lathe test. It is a mess of lathes that him and Anissa Capsalis went through and tested. It was a bear to test all of these as as thoroughly as they did. They did a bang up job of it. David Welter, who was an instructor at the Krenov School, College of the Redwoods, a small shop with big ideas, his retirement shop, basically, and that and more. So check out that issue, the new issue of Fine Woodworking Magazine. Head on over to finewoodworking.com slash subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Tools for Working Wood has a cool little teeny tiny spoon maker's draw knife. This is a adorable 75 bucks all right that makes sense cool so uh yeah check that out if you want like a draw knife you could put in your back pocket because why wouldn't you taylor toolworks has a bow like the the company that makes feather boards a bow extender anodized aluminum fence this is interesting so you know you can get a 24 inch fence a 36 inch fence or a 46 inch long fence to go on your table saw or your router table whatever to give you a higher fence a fence with t-tracks anodized into the side and with mounting clamp mounting bracket things milled into it really interesting 159 for a 46 inch extender fence i think the 36 inch for 139 is what most people would need interesting product i really dig this so check that out from Bo. garrett wade has a japanese crafted fine rasp set available it's two rasps it looks like one four inch one eight inch it looks like a flat side and a curved side so definitely check those out over at garrettwade.com and last but certainly not least felder is having in-house shows for you to check out their stuff which is not easy to do it's not always easy to see these like really high-end machines. You can't just go down to the local woodworking supply and see them. So if you're in the Texas area or Delaware area, you can check out their awesome machines. November 2nd and 3rd in Texas and November 9th and 10th in Delaware. So it's a great opportunity to check out machines that you're not going to be able to really see anywhere else. Awesome. So that does it for this edition of Fine Woodworking News. Check out a couple things for me. Check out the new issue of Fine Woodworking Magazine and check out the Fine Woodworking Fundamentals journey, if you will. So head on over to finewoodworking.com slash fundamentals and check out the 12 week program where you sign up for $20 and you've got full access to the membership for 12 weeks and we kind of spoon feed you information throughout the 12 weeks. It's hosted and curated by Mike Pekovich and Amanda Russell. And it's really cool and something that we're really stoked about here. So check it out. And we'll see you in two weeks with more news, as long as there is news. Bye.